Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle Sometimes you just have to say fuck it and pray for the best. And that's exactly what I do every week. <laughs> you tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we turn the clocks back, a cause. On Monday today, I know I have to work. I have class today at 1, another class at. 2 30 and then i have to go work out tonight at 6 30. So and before class starts my teacher always comes in early and plays she calls it elevator music and we just wait until she comes on the zoom <laughs> well, i finished my last class of the day it's about for right now so I have time to eat and do a little bit of homework before I go to kickboxing tonight at 6 30 with my mom let's see how much I can cram in but also it's not about how fast you do it it's how much information you can retain and it actually takes me a long time because my readings they're like some of them are like 17 pages just for one reading and then I have like five readings to do it Kind of stresses me out. My salad for a late lunch slash before I go to work out. <laughs> Did all my skincare. I'm letting all the serums, <laughs> serums, serum and moisturizer and everything soak into my skin. It's now the next day. I <laughs> am at my nanny job. I of these kids, but they're so cute and they're my absolute favorite. This one's eating breakfast. And there's this one over here. Say hi. Yeah. Today's to-do list, I have, I'm here. Got here at 6.30 and I won't be done until like 3.30 or 4. I have a class at 11.15 and then, um, yeah, um, and then I have to work out tonight and then... Maybe the worst thing is when you're <laughs> stuck behind um, a train and I have places to be. <laughs> it's fine. Just wanted to share, give you guys four tips on how I manage my time. Having two jobs, an internship, full-time school, managing my health family and friends and somehow I'm still you know sane the first tip I have is to plan out your week with fixed schedules and flex schedules so by this how I do it is I usually sit down on Sundays because I feel like that's a good start of your week or it kind of like sets the tone for your week my fixed schedule revolves around um, my school, my jobs, and my workout times. And some people would usually put like their workouts in their flex schedule, like just whenever it's convenient for them. And that used to be me, but 
because I definitely want to prioritize my health and just kind of getting into better shape and becoming stronger, I put that into my fixed schedules. First start off with um, my school schedule and every week I'll go on my canvas. If you don't know what canvas is, the school website for us where we get all of our assignments and so i'll go to each of my classes and figure out what is due that week um, and what i need to have done prior to the class so i'll usually color code them too first on a piece of paper decide what needs to be done first or like how long i have until um how much time i have to slack off you know <laughs> After I figure out my school schedule, I'll look at my work schedule and I just, I got really lucky with both of my jobs. I know not everyone has this like flexibility or capability to do that because they're so hands on with their jobs. So I definitely lucked out on that. But um, regardless, I obviously still have to do work. Like I still have to participate and um, put my homework away when uh, you know people come up to me and ask me questions next I will look at my schedule for my workouts and the thing is I pay a membership or my mom pays a membership for this body shaping program so what they do is if you don't go you pay ten dollars which I'm broke so I want my ten dollars even though that's not even like drastic I mean, that's like one Chipotle, so that's what my mom always says. She's like, it's one Chipotle. I'm like, Chipotle is a lot, you know? I can organize it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and usually I have it all the way until Saturday. Breaking them up into days definitely is all about like small goals. So every day I have a set of goals, right? And if that's finishing an assignment, going to this, going to that, like I know that it's there and I visually can see it on my calendar. It motivates me more to actually do it so I can delete it when it's done. Um, also a big reminder is that small progress is still progress to your bigger goals. So doing these little goals a day, I know that it's all basically helping me reach my end goal. My second tip on how I manage my time is to have a good relationship with your phone. And by this, I mean habitual versus instrumental. So habitual is basically you're going on your phone out of habit just because you're bored, right? Like there's not anything you really need to do. You're kind of just scrolling through social media or like playing a game. So that's habitual versus instrumental where there's like a specific purpose. So um, I used to do this where I would kind of trick my brain like, oh, I should check my email on my phone. But I noticed that when I check my email on my phone, I'll then wander off to other apps because why not? Like I'm already on my phone. So because I do all my work on my laptop, I've conditioned my brain to if I do think I should check my phone for my emails, I'll go look at my emails on my laptop instead just because it's like okay i can check it and then if there's nothing that i need there just exit out of the tab and then you're good to go i'm not saying that it's all bad being on your phone but i definitely think that there is a issue with how much you're on your phone you know because I'm definitely guilty of just sitting on my phone for hours and then time passes by and I didn't even notice. My third step is to have a reward system with yourself because I have to remind myself like if I value me, then I value my time. For instance, I purposely have dinner plans set like every week um, because I know that if I want to go, I need to get this stuff done. Nothing is worse than coming home from going out with your friends. Doesn't matter if it's like going to the bar or just dinner and coming home and having to work on an assignment. Only reason why I'm saying this is because I've had way too many experiences where I did have to come home and do assignments and it sucked. It was not my best work. I still got a decent grade, but like I know I could have done better. My last... And final tip on how I manage my time is to give yourself grace. And what I mean by this is like, life is not easy. Like it's the most challenging game ever. 
there's so many unexpected things that you just don't know what's going on and like what's to come we face challenges but time still moves on you know um i was talking about this with my friends too and they definitely gave me some really good tips they said that distracting yourself from your problems is only a temporary fix stuff we have to go into things thinking yes this is a shit part of my life right now but I will work at it until it's over or until I know that I've put my best efforts in it. She also said, treat your feelings like visitors that are just passing through. You need to understand that you can complain, but don't invalidate your feelings right now. I was complaining and then I'm like, why am I complaining with everything in my life when everything that's happening in Ukraine is just so unhumane? Like, what do I have to complain about? I have a roof over my head. I have a job. I have a car. I have food. Like, heck, there's just so many other things that I have that they don't. So I'm like, why am I complaining? It just doesn't make any sense. And I feel extremely bad. But my friend was like telling me just, you can complain, but don't invalidate your feelings. Um, check your privilege, but also don't gaslight yourself. So those are my tips on how I manage my time. So on today's to-do list, I had to work this morning. Um, I have to record this video. I also have class today at 1, another class at 2.30. Then I have a little debate thing that I have to judge for one of my classes. And then I have a me up and I can feel it now. internship now which okay so i have this internship that i'm involved in and uh, i kind of hate it like you always have to do stuff that you don't want to do but you do it anyways but at this point in my life and with this internship going on on top of all my other stuff sometimes you just have to say fuck it and pray for the best and that's exactly what i do every week <laughs> Okay, that's probably not good advice, but you get what I mean. Their choice but to agree, because the pipeline infrastructure anywhere else didn't yet exist. As late as 2005, 80% of Russia's gas exports... <laughs> but the worst thing is, when you ex you're expecting a package and you track it, but the tracking is off. We are number six. <gasps> it's yeah! it's 7:33. I did what needed to be done. I didn't get what I want, but I'm still going and contributing in this event. So I guess that's better than nothing because some people like obviously don't have the luxury of going or participating in this event at all. So I just have to be count my blessings you know i was so angry and flustered i went to work out i wasn't supposed to go to work out tonight i just did a walk-in and i took all my anger out on the punching bags so i'm freaking sweating so much i need to go shower and then 
I literally skipped class for this. <laughs> so now I have to do makeup homework. And then basically, I'm just chilling for the rest of the night. I'm getting lunch with my friends. I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. Oh my god, you're so right, my camera was ready. You're so right, look at you go. It's like Our latecomers, hey.